G'day, in this video we're going to talk about addition fact families. This is a way to really consolidate students' knowledge of number facts and help them to make connections between related facts. So rather than seeing a set of addition facts as this long list of facts to be learned by rote, the old fashioned way that I learned it at school, we should be helping students see which ones are connected together and which ones you can learn without having to learn something uh, a, a new fact as it were. So we're looking at this example 6 plus 5 which of course is 11 and we can illustrate that with two 10 frames. Uh, however you do it, it doesn't matter. 10 frames ha happen to be my favourite resource. So we've got six red ones, uh, five blue ones. We can see that's 11. Straightforward, that's easy. Then we can talk to students about the turnaround fact, the commutative fact if you like. 5 plus 6 of course, that's 11 as well. If we wanted to really prove it, uh, we're going to need one more blue. So we can say there are five red ones and six blue ones. Obviously, we haven't changed the result. So children won't find that difficult to see that those are really both the same. And then, of course, we can add to that related subtraction fact. So starting with 11, we can take away 5 using the 10 frames again. We can start with 11 and take away 6. And lo and behold, all four number facts use the same triad of numbers, the 5, the 6, and the 11. And that's true of every addition fact, apart from the doubles, in which case you just have two related facts, like uh, 4 plus 4 is 8, 8 take away 4 is 4, and there's no turnarounds for that one, of course. So for teaching students addition and subtraction facts, I love this approach, which says we can get this cluster or family of facts which relate to each other, and use exactly the same three numbers. And we're really helping to develop our students' mental capacities, their fluency with numbers, their numeracy, if you like, and to see those connections that they need throughout mathematics as they learn it. So that's it from this, for this video, and I'll talk to you again soon.